WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here at noon for the TFNN update, and I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up after this update, and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Dow is at 28,318. So far, it hasn't taken out the 28,337 high of yesterday, but the MACD finally crossed positive, stochastics at 86, all of that is very positive. Plus, you had an island a reversal back on the third, uh, it was the next day, that was the fifth, the fourth, the fourth of uh, December. And then you had another one three days later, and we haven't filled that. So that says there is upside momentum thrust. And it's now testing the weekly resistance. And uh, so far, all uh, systems are go, at least in the short term, for higher prices. The S&P at this moment has made an all-time high. It's high today so far is 31.98.22, fractionally higher than yesterday. Um, it's only a leg B, and this is a this is a good sign. It suggests that over the next week and a half or so, we should have higher prices, eventually getting to a D, and we'll see if that D is, is some kind of a top. Meantime, back in the rest, the QQQ, same thing, leg B, all-time high at 209.29. Today should have been a, a day of rest after the spectacular moves of the last couple of days. Mm -mm, not yet. And the IWM... Here we go. It was underneath the high from the uh, four days ago of 164.81, but it's only at 164.11. I mean, it's right in the range. It hasn't broken down yet. And the technicals are not as good as the other indices, but they are still pretty good. And gold. Gold is up fractionally. Gold is up. No, now it's down. Down a half a point at 14.80. Uh, stuck in that range, hit the 50 period, this gray line, the 50 period moving average in the daily. Weekly suggests there's a whole bunch of moving averages here. And, and that's the weekly and that rectangle formation just keeps going on. And I suspect gold is just having a well earned well rest of the spectacular move going from um, almost 1100 to the 1573 level. So I think that, uh, yeah, it deserves a bit of a breather after a momentous move earlier in the year. The dollar is holding quite nicely. It's up 12 cents at 97.18, but the chart itself makes that arch formation. I'll talk about the arch formation when we get back because we want to look at it in some of the, like Boeing made a beautiful arch. We'll talk about that in a few minutes when I do my Tiger Technician's Hour. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. Maybe you'll wait a few minutes and do my show.